Hey guys, welcome to Programming Knowledge. This is the second tutorial of a priori algorithm. As discussed in the previous tutorial, we saw what is a, a priori algorithm and its implementation steps, followed by the code of all the details. So let's go ahead and run the program. The first step is we are going to import the required libraries. For doing that, we are going to import the required libraries. Let's first import numpy as np. Followed by, we are going to import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt. Then we are going to import pandas as pd. Lastly, we are going to import a priori by from a priori import a priori. So we have imported the required libraries. Now we are going to first read the file, which is this file store underscore data, in which the sample data set of all the items in the supermarket or your your owning market, which is there. Red line, we have rice, burgers, eggs, all the stuffs are available in different columns. So we are going to read this file. First, by creating a variable called store underscore data equals to we are going to use pd which is pandas pd dot read underscore csv and inside the packet we are going to provide this file which is available in the location which is e colon double slash data sets double slash the file name which is store underscore data dot csv and we are going to make sure to keep the header as none as we don't need the header so first step is completed so we have read the file which is the data uh, store data dot csv which is available in e colon so this is how we read the data Next step, let's see the length of the record, which is by creating a variable called num underscore records. And we are going to provide len keyword along with store underscore data, which is this variable in which file location is there. So let's try to view the length of the store underscore data variable so that we could know the file size of the store underscore data for that we are going to print number underscore records by printing this what will happen it will come over here and it will calculate the length of store underscore data which is this file let's now go ahead and print the program here we go, we have got the output as 7501. So the length of this file is 7501. Now, as we have read the file, so we are exploring the data. Let's now build the model and also convert data into list. For doing that, first we are going to create a variable called records and keep this blank as it is now what we are going to do we are going to create a for loop by providing i in range and inside the brackets we are going to start with the value zero and the second would be num underscore records to make sure that we do not cross the length of the number records which is 7501 so so we have provided the value of 0 comma num underscore records let's go inside the for loop and use the append method which is records dot append and inside the bracket we are going to string and store dot store underscore data dot values into i comma g which is ij 
and also we are going to use one more for loop which is for j in range of 0 comma 20 by using this code we are going to append the records and store the values store underscore data in ij so this is how we do that the next step is we are going to build the model which is we are going to provide these a priori that is so for building the method and also we'll provide the other stuff that such as support confidence and lift which we have discussed in the earlier tutorial so we are going to provide a minimum value for support confidence as well as lift and length to make sure that we get the data as we want let's go ahead and build the model which is i am going to provide association underscore rules as a variable equals to a priori a priori and inside that i'm going to call the records followed by minimum underscore support as the value i'm giving it as 0 0.0053 as a minimum support value followed by minimum underscore confidence as uh, I'm going to provide the value for it as 0 0.20 and for minimum underscore left I'm going to provide the value as 3 and for minimum underscore length let's say we'll give, a, we'll give it as 2 so here we go we have built the model let's know Put this into a list for doing that i need to create one more variable as association underscore results equals to list of and we need to put this here which is association underscore rules put the packet here we go we have created the list Now, as we have built the model and uh, convert the data into list, now let's go ahead and view the length again of the updated file, which is print of length and association underscore results and view the exact result what we are getting in. Here we go, we have the length that is 32. Now let's see the first data of the association results, which is association underscore results of zero. Let's go ahead and see this. Here we go. As you can see, we are getting the items, which is frozen set of escalate, escalope, mushroom, cream, and sauce. And also we can see the support value. Uh, which is coming over 0 0.0053 which is 0 0.0057 as we have provided the minimum support value for it as 0 0.0053 so it's coming beyond that so next we have confidence for confidence the minimum confidence we have provided as 0 0.20 so as you can see it's coming bigger than that which is 0 0.30 similarly for lift as well which is 3. 79 the value 5 as uh, we have provided for lift as 3 so this is how we get to know the length of the file now let's go ahead and try to display the results in a separate column for confidence support and lift for doing that i'm again going to like create one more variable and name it as results and keep it in blank and i'm going to use 
for loop and provide a variable called item uh, in association underscore results so for item in association underscore results which is referring to this and inside that i'm going to create a variable called pair in which i'm going to store the first value of the item which is for item equals to item of zero then i'm going to use the variable item and open the bracket which is and give a variable called x and one more follow which is x for x in pair which is this variable providing this item of zero so here we go now uh, let's try to put four to five values which is by creating a variable called value of zero equals to using a string and inside the bracket we are going let's say one more variable called items of zero now similarly for value one i'm going to provide string of items of one so two things are created now for value two let's go ahead and create one more which is item here we are going to provide the item not items okay so with item and ending this with seven to make sure that it ends within seven and for value three similarly we do that by providing again item here we give two the second and zero and two so two zero two which means second item that is item of two zero and two and end this seven so we have created value of zero one two and three let's last we are going to provide value of four which is string again with item of two zero and three and end this by within seven so here we go we have created value of zero one two three and four now let's store this in a variable uh, which i have defined right now as rows and store this in rows as like value of zero comma value of one comma value of two comma value of three comma value of four so here we go we have created the rows that is variable rows and uh, set up the values now let's try to append again just like what we did here in records which is records dot append to make sure all the values are coming under one so for that i'm going to use again which is results dot append again which is append over here so we are going to use results dot append and inside the parentheses i'm going to pause the rows which i have created variable in which all the values are stored now what is required we require a label uh, as a header to for a header so we provide a label which is let's say title one comma title two comma then what will we require we require the support and we require confidence followed by we require left here we go we have created a label now we need to put this into a data frame by using pd it is pandas for that i am going to create a variable called store suggestion as we are going to suggest right so uh, like for random example i have used store suggestion and inside that i'm going to provide pandas which is pd dot data frame 
dot from underscore records, which is from underscore records, which is this. And inside the brackets, I'm going to pass on results in which our values have been stored, which is this. Along with that, I'm going to make sure my columns are in labels, which is one column for title, one column for title two, the support, confidence, and leave separate columns, which is columns equals to labels. So we have in that with the coding part. Let's now go ahead and run the program and see what we are getting in. It is print store underscore suggestion, which refers to this. Here we go. We have done with the code. Let's now go ahead and run the program. Oops, what we have is there is an error. Name items is not defined. Okay. Here we go. Oops. I need to provide. Uh, actually, I have missed an S variable. Okay. So, items. Okay. Let's go ahead and I can run the program. One more error, which is label title one title two support confidence and list which is store underscore suggestion pd dot data frame from underscore records we have missed something let's check out okay we have missed the label let's now go ahead and run the program again print store underscore suggestion Everything is correct. What is the problem? Here we go. As expected. As you can see, we are getting the output in separate columns. Let's say the title one, first one is escalope, and the title two is mushroom cream sauce. And the support value for this is 0 0.00573, and the confidence for this is 0 0.30069, followed by we get the lift value. So here we go how it comes when the escalope, es escalope is there. We have the cream sauce, escalope mushroom is there. We have the mushroom cream sauce. Supporting value for that is 0 0.00573 and the confidence is 0 0.300. Similarly, for each and every item, we get the values for support confidence and lift. These values can be used for better decision making as told earlier for suggesting the products and if the values are more higher you get more confident about the product that it will get sold so in this way the prediction the suggestion of products is done by using the proper algorithm so that's it for today thank you for joining with programming knowledge hope the session was clear thank you